I think ahead of time. Hmm. Just complete. Nice. All right, back to you. Back to the game. Where do we hear voices. All right. We're going that way. Uh, press button. Power goes back in, and all of a sudden it works. Good question. I think it's down. Yeah. I really don't want to give it to you, do I? No, not really. And this is the first chapter. Well, it sets up all the other chapters quite easily. Alright, story. Wait, let me guess. This is Rosenberg. That's a possibility, yeah. This is Rosenberg's story. That's right. I have retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not see my worth now? The council even recognizes the great resolve you've shown us today. Let the book stand as testament of your place amongst the ranks from henceforth. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are the devourers of God. Here we go. That's disturbing. We've got four more chapters we need to discover. Yes, yeah, so we're talking to Todd Todd now, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, second floor first. Yes. You're serious, really? Go on, go through it. I found something interesting something interesting. The missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes. Holmes, age seven, lived in Addison apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Mm -hmm. Looks like they may be your little friends from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. Interesting. Greg. Greg. Chapter 3. Oh yeah, Greg. Greg and Stacy got married. There you go. Interesting. The story lines up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report one day after the original was filed. Starting, stating that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says they had. Says they. Yeah, says they had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. Okay. That's definitely her. Wait a sec. Oh, the cross. See? Yeah, yeah, okay, we're getting it. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She never wears it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Lost and found. Possibly, yeah. Alright, to Lost and Found. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the Super Gear Boy, perhaps finding the necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection with when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Indeed. Lost and Found, here I come. Lost and found, here it is. This is my shit. I want my shit back. Gimme, bitch! Hello, Chug. Chug, 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 Chug. I knew I saw a necklace somewhere. See? Yes, but the thing is, you didn't see it because you didn't break the logic in the first place. But anyway, we've done the context of the little mini games, so we know more, too. Alright, okay, work your magic, whatever you're ready. Um, it's our bum bum. Megan. Megan. 
Megan, are you with us? Mm. This is your friend, Larry. This is my friend, Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles. That's not a nice word, Larry. Huh. You'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says some bad words sometimes, too. Really? You think? <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> Look at Larry. Yeah, it's like... Uh, okay. It's like he's taking some crack or something. Let's get on with it. Like you know what someone looks like when they've taken crack. What do you mean I haven't been here the whole time? I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Are you telling me that we're going past this point and going into the other side at some point? I'm not Bell not... theory. Yes. Do you know someone named Greg? Yes. Oh, you mean Mummy's friend. I like Greg. He's always brings me candy. Sweet, sweet candy. Well, look at those teeth. That's candy teeth. There we go. <laughs> Five of that heroin, whichever comes first. Can you remember anything else about him? Uh, uh, just that he was nice and always spread candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much. So, but I don't know why. Anyway. What can you tell me about your parents? Yeah, that's a good thing. I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. Everyone's he scares everyone here. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be like mummy. What happened? Good question. I remember they had a fight, and then he was sad. And his sadness turned into angriness. You remember your last days? days? Oh, this is going well. I don't know. It's all blurry now. Really? Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry. You lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. Creepy. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Yeah, hey, yes. Where did you find that? Downstairs at the bottom with the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. No. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she's. Uh oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye bye. Wait, I. Is that creepy? Yeah, very creepy. Bye. Chapter 5. Shit! Yeah, you never seem to stick around. You never seem to stick around long enough. Uh, well, we're going to need to get into the bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mum's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll get have better luck. 
sure, I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. Uh, it is getting late. We have made some progress. We will come back and make more progress, I promise. But it is late. You said we could finish this chapter. Fine, we'll finish this chapter. Let's do it! Fluffly! Hey, bird. What's up, bird? Can I borrow the crowbar? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but yeah, but it's only thing holding up my shelf right now. See, those kids next door in 301. They're nice kids. And all of them, but they have done real low parties sometimes. Shakes the whole wall and my shell falls right down. If you can talk to them and get them a little quieter, then I could let you borrow some that crowbar. Okay, I'll talk to them. You freaky, freaky shit. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I have clean clothes, you see, and I just hate to be the only party pooper, you know? Is he the one that leaves his laundry around? Yes, it would have seemed so. Not a problem, I'll be right back. See ya! Party down! IGG! CJ! But, 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 he's disabled and you're complaining of. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. That's just cruel. Yo, what's up, Seth? Hey, CJ, what are you up to? Trying to tune music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. Trying to find something to die That one seems like it. That might work. It's either that or the classic book. How about this? Dude, I think this would put everyone to sleep. Select. No, go back and select that one. No, the. um... Da -da 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 yeah, select that and see what happens. How about this? Love it. Good choice, little man. But that's not going to solve our problem. Alright. That's classical. How about this? <laughs> you know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I think this could work. love how he's named CJ. Yes, I know. Well, I got that all sorted. Oh, hello. Harry... Harry... Uh, Azaria? Azaria? Azaria. Azaria. Hey, Z. Of course she's called Z. Why do I even have to think about them? Yep. Hey, Sally Face. Trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got a little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. We've got chairs, charades. Next. Duck, duck, moose, no. Dodgeball is pretty nasty. I'm almost thinking charades at this point in time, unless they've got something better. Telephone. Might work. Ping pong. Mm, lots of noise. Telephone might be the go. Because it's quiet, because you have to talk to... You have to whisper the thing to each person. I think. How about this guy? Hmm, you know, that reminds me of grade school. That touches of nostalgia is just what the party needs. Thanks, so. Okay, so... Pull see? it out. Yeah, okay. Pull it out. Pull it out. What? Let's see if there's something else here. 
Oh. Damn you, toilets. You lied to me. See, it's brown. Yes, I know. That's disturbing. Alright. Let's see if there's any other near do wells. Ah, here we go. Hey, Syria. What are you up to? Hey, Sally First, I'm contemplating an alternative activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look over your list? Sure. Dean D. Movie night. Video games. You know what it's going to be. Dandy? No, it's a chess tournament. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I don't know. I think it's going to be a chess tournament. How about this? It has been a while since we've done that in a tournament. That's a perfect choice for Wait, tonight. Wait, have a look at a jacket. Yeah. Jack Skeleton. It is. Alright, I think that's everyone. <gasps> Y'all! <laughs> chose all the quiet time. Give me the fucking crowbar. Sup, brother? I worked it all out with Collins. Students, they're going to have an, a much more low key party this time. Wow, great news. Thanks for helping me out that. So, uh, Sarah um, will be so happy to. Uh, last time, our wedding picture almost blew up to pieces. I'm glad I could help. What the fuck? Ah, right, let me grab your crowbar for you. One sex. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Time to go wreck stuff! Time to destroy! Next one. Crowbarring it up. I should be able to pull off these words. Crowbar down! It's gonna be a dead body. Nope. Surprisingly, nothing. Ew! <laughs> well, that's a gruesome way to die. Yeah. Stacy! Nice to meet you. How are you? You okay? <laughs> oh. That went well. Go on, get on with it. Alright. Alright, we got chapters. Four and five. When her husband learned of her in discretion, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left. In fear for her life, she turned to an unlikely ally. Okay, she said, I need to cut the power lines on each floor. I hope we can pull this off. Okay, where are the power lines? Ah, there it is. L. You need to avoid the creepy people. And that's only going to get worse as we go along. Now they're going to travel in diagonals. <laughs> Circles. No one. 
That's a disturbing sign. Ah, okay, Rosenberg. I cut the power and... See, Rosenberg? Yes. And Gregson disposed of the bones. Good. And I've destroyed the seventh book. The seventh book. Will we really be able to stop them? We've got to a chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but I think we might have done it. I should have never let things get this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to put and get you your family involved in all of this. If we can stop the ritual, then the council won't have another chance to perform it for a thousand years. And I pray to God that it works. That this works. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such fun things. We must fight for our own survival. Playtime was interrupted by the prompt. Promptedly? Uh, by the promptedly setting sun. In that moment, the young girl realized she had gone far too deep into the unfamiliar woods. Oh, this is Megan. Yeah. Uh oh. That looks like a repeating screen. Mm. All those things all look the same, it's not good. Wait, maybe we should listen to something? Mm, I think it's more a visual thing. Where have you been, child? We ha you had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mummy. I was lost and it was so dark and, and, and... Hush now, my sweet angel. Everything is okay. Here, I want you to have this. Grandma's necklace? It will protect you from the wickedness in this world, so you don't have to be so afraid anymore. What about Father? He doesn't have to know this will be our little secret. Here we go. Okay, we have two, two more. more. Okay, so, creepy mum. I believe. Oh god, there's a huge hole in the wall. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's Point of no return. Go on, let's see where we go. We might miss chapters, but that's fine. I believe. Ooh, there's someone hung themselves. Hello, hello. Chapter seven. And now it forces you. In the moment we he found himself somewhere else, even though Luke hadn't wasn't sure how he ended up here. He knew what must be done. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together and cannot afford any obstacle. Oh jeez. Oh, he moves lightning fast. Oh, 
button, 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 button. Why is there a... Yeah. yeah. And, uh, the child will only show or slow us down. She will never follow us with her mother's treacherous blood running through her veins. See you're enjoying that. Walk with me into the undying flames and our power shall be endless. Oh, Luke, can you hear me? Luke, use the force, Luke. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, that just came out of the body. That's not good. We're in part eight now, aren't we? What the hell just happened? Todd gave me this invention. He said it was theoretically could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So, the red-eyed creep has been here for decades. That was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. The building is cursed. Yes. Yeah. Who knew Addison Apartments had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we'll have to any worry about demons showing up anymore. Todd's thing seemed like it took care of it. Did it? Alright. Oh? What is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking, I guess since there's no curse, this all means that my dad, he, he just... Oh. His dad died. Or ran away from everything because it was too scary. Mm. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The guards are giving me the look. Wait, that was only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today, especially with this being our last session and your trial in just a few days. I swear on my life I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracy, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system. So, these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective, the evidence against you, for what you did. Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. Mr. Muppet Face does nothing. What a fucking psycho, eh? So now the next chapter is Muppet Face going to the treehouse. Who knows? I'm pretty sure this takes up like years after the fact. This is in the later chapter. It's the same chapter. 
Yes, I can see it. I think we getting to the treehouse will change everything up to a point. They're filled with clothes, books, cassettes. Nothing of importance. What do you know, Muppet Boot? Shelves. Rusty tools and other junk. Various junk. Floor. A few old amateur paintings. Probably Larry's. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Uh, there's absolutely nothing here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just need to see it for myself. Sal was so convincing, and this whole thing has seemed off. Dr. Ennon. What? Don't freak out, man. We need to need your help. You have to get Sal out of jail. This shit is much deeper than you thought. Please. You have to get Sal here. This is your, your... You can't be. Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then... Yeah, he dead. Look, even the shin bone is poking out. Ah, <laughs> ah, oh. oh. <laughs> poor dude. Like, I'm going. Nope, damn, he dead. The red ball. I'm fucking blue. I believe this is the next chapter. Is this real? Yeah. Am I dreaming? White room. Et okay. Going backwards. Uh, find me in the white room. Uh, don't forget what I told you. Find me in the white room. I read backwards. Don't ask me why, I just do. Uh, others to play shit of uh, speak not must you but la air for five dear niche dust blood. Thank you. Yeah, this is the next chapter. Okay. We will come back to this later. The only one who believes Believe you, you is dead now. What should I do? Remember? Uh, no? Four letters. Roll. Run. Who knows? Anyway. Run is three letters. Mm. Hmm. There you go. Yeah. Run. Run. I was right. Oh! Oh, so creepy. Super creepy. Oh, you had to remember how the symbols were lined up. Oh, no. Now we're stuck in random chance now. Do you remember how the symbols were? Oh. There used to be a door here. You remembered the symbols? No. And yet here we are. Journalist. Mm -hmm. Charles Nettles. Why do you have a lobotomy scar? <laughs> Is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favour? Is that Chug? 
I don't think so. But he's got a butt face. Butt face again. Forgo legal help in favor of representing yourself. Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Fox News. Can you speak um, to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you uh, dicking with the story that you've told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? Always got twisted. I have no comment on that. Can you commit on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that you that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now, except I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. What idiot are you? The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of Bologna. Uh, Bologna. Bologna. I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just, well, it's a long story. The trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. <sighs> Alright. Chapter 3. The Bologna Incident. Back up. Back up. Alright. We'll pick it up later. What if I were more than just a doodle? I never realised that I had to find out whether a doodle had the feelings. <laughs> also, the fact that you don't have a proper mouth that works properly. Yet you can still talk. I give you credit. I'll see you on the next recording.